Hi, I'm Dr. Victoria Sorvati with the Nathaniel Foundation, and this is Candid Treasures, the Hebraic understanding of the time of Yeshua. And what we do here is we go back in that time period and we talk about scripture, we talk about the Bible from that vantage point so we can see Yeshua at, with Hebraic eyes as his followers did in that time period. You know, there's some advantages that the followers had at that time of understanding his words better than we do. And that is because they lived among the, he lived among them and he understood their ways and traditions. And he actually rightfully interpreted their understanding of scripture. They used the Talmud. They used the, the, the rabbinic um, teachings of, of the Mishnah uh, uh, that explained Torah. Not, not much different than what we would do if we were to go to the, the Christian bookstore and, and grab a book by uh, Chuck Swindoll or maybe by um, another Billy Graham or somebody that we really respect and we want to know what they have to say about a particular subject matter. That's what the rabbis did as well, whenever they had stories about Torah, about the, the prophets, and it was redacted and created into a book that's now called the Talmud. And then there was orator, oral Torah, which was passed down by Moses. You can imagine Moses being on, being on the mountain and hearing God talking to him face to face, even to the point where his face shone with the glory of God. And he was there for 40 days. Can you imagine the input that went into to Moses? And when he came down, what he had to tell the people. And then he told them to make sure you tell the generations after you these things. Don't forget them. Lock them in your heart. And so this was passed down. And many of the things, of course, might have been misinterpreted along the way. So when Yeshua came back, he reinterpreted or corrected many of the, the fallacies or the misunderstandings maybe that scripture or uh, the Talmud might have been teaching the, the people. But one thing that he actually helped the people understand was the spirit of the Torah. What was the spirit? Torah means instruction. We, we trans it's translated in English as law, and sometimes we have a negative connotation passed down to us by our uh, Greco-Roman teachings that it's a negative thing, that the law is negative. But actually it means instruction. Peter talks about how it's good for reproof and how in rebuke and instruction and, and in teaching. The, the Torah, the scriptures are good for us. They're God's instruction on showing us and teaching us his ways. But the most important that we need to think, we need to understand is that Yeshua expounded on it. He said that you have heard it said in times of old that you should not murder. But I tell you, if you get angry with your brother, you have murdered him, murdered him in your heart. You have heard it said that you're not to commit adultery. But I say if you look upon a woman with lust, you have committed adultery in your heart. So Yeshua expounded on the law and personalized it, internalized it, spiritualized it, and then was able to teach it. And we understand it now in the context of the spirit world, what God sees. And so I encourage you, get into the scripture and understand the ways of Yeshua. Look at it from his perspective and you're going to see the Bible in a whole different light. God bless you and Shalom.